All right. So we're going to do an example that uses the idea of counting and the idea of intersections and unions. But this time we're going to deal with three sets. We're going to do it via a word problem a little bit. So let's talk about what it says. So we have 50 people that are surveyed about whether they own one of the following video game systems, a PlayStation 4 or a PS4, an Xbox One, or a Nintendo Switch. And we have the following seven pieces of information. Four own all three, six own a Switch and a PlayStation 4, nine own a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One, two own an Xbox One and a Switch, but not a PlayStation 4. Um, and I want you to think about the difference between the, these two statements here and this statement here. Think about the difference. That's going to be important. We also know 13. We also know 13 own an Xbox One. Five own only a Switch. Again, think about the difference between these two statements. And finally, we also know 12 own exactly one system. So. It's a good idea to draw a little Venn diagram to put this information in. Remember, there are 50 people. That's going to be important to us. So here are my Venn, or here is my Venn diagram with my three sets. Let's call P your PlayStation 4, X your Xbox One, and S your Nintendo Switch. So, I think it's a good exercise for you guys, even though we haven't done this, try and fill as much of this diagram in as you can. The first one is quite easy. Um, I'll do the first two, and then I'll leave you guys to think about the rest. So, four own all three systems, so we can put that in. Four are going to be in the center. They own all three. The next one says six own a Switch and a PlayStation 4. Keep in mind, this statement says nothing about whether they own an Xbox or not. All it's talking about is um, they're, them owning a Switch and a PlayStation 4. So where is that area in our diagram? will think that it says nothing about the Xbox. So in your mind, just delete this or erase this circle. We only care about the PlayStation and the Switch circles. So the PlayStation and the Switch, the intersection of those is this area. We need to have six people in this area. But think about it, we already have four. Four people own an Xbox as well. There are six people in total. So the number of people that don't own an Xbox, well, that must be the other two. Six minus four is two. So in total, there are six people that own a Switch and a PlayStation 4. Four that also own an Xbox and two that do not. So hopefully from those ideas, um, you should be able to fill in the rest of the diagram. There's a couple of other um, things you'll have to do, but I think it's worth giving it a go. So pause the video now. My suggestion, and it's for all of these problems, you should always work from the center out. So here's a hint. If you can, work from the center out. It doesn't work every time. Sometimes you're given weird pieces of information, but usually working from the center out is a good way of going for these style problems. So fill in the rest of the diagram if you can. Pause the video now and try it. Okay, so hopefully um, you guys have tried that problem. Let's see if it matches up with what I get. So we did the first two. Let's do the next one. Nine own a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One. Well, the um, reasoning 
is the same as the above one. So there were six people that owned a Switch and a PlayStation 4. Now there's nine people that own a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One. That's these two circles. We already have four that also own a Switch. So there must be five that don't own a Switch. Okay. Here we have two people own an Xbox One and a Switch, but not a PlayStation 4. So where is that um, area in our Venn diagram? Well, that's going to be this segment here. So this is the area that's in the X circle and the S circle, but not the P circle. So they own an Xbox One and a Switch, but not a PlayStation 4. So we know there are two people in there. Okay, now it says 13 own an Xbox One. So that's this circle here. There have got to be 13 people in total inside of it. We already have 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 2 is 11 people. So we must have an additional two people in that other region. There is four regions in here. One, two, three, four. We knew three of those regions. We had the overall total, so we could figure out how many need to go in that last region. There must be two because this has to add up to 13 because it says 13 own an Xbox One. These two own only an Xbox One, um, and these other 11 own some other systems as well. Okay, this one says that five people own only a Switch, so that must mean that there are five people that own only a Switch and nothing else. So this is the area that is just in the S circle and not in the P or X circle. So that word only is very important. It's the difference between 13 people own an Xbox One. It doesn't say anything about um, if they own any other system. This one says they own only a Switch. That's those five people there. And the last one is 12 own exactly one system. So how many own exactly one system? 12. Well, exactly one system is this area, this area, and this area. That must add up to 12. Well, we already have seven accounted for, this and this. So if we subtract those from 12, we'll have how many are left over here. So 12 minus 5 minus 2 is, of course, 5. And we can check. So 5 plus 5 plus 2 is indeed 12. So there's 12 people that own exactly one system. So we filled in all the areas inside of the circle, but it says there were 50 people that were surveyed. So if you add up the numbers here, and we can do that very quickly, we have 5, 10, 12, 14, 18, 20, 25. There are still 25 people missing from this diagram. Well, what happened to them? Well, it turns out there's only one place for them left to go, or one thing uh, left to assign to them, they don't own any system. So outside of this diagram, you're going to have 25 people. So we did part one here. We drew a Venn diagram displaying this data. And again, we're not putting the elements inside of this Venn diagram. We're putting the cardinality of each region, and that's fine. I think it's pretty clear that that's what's happening here. So. How many people own exactly two systems? Well, what areas of our diagram are exactly two systems? That's going to be this area, this area, and this area. Five plus two plus two is nine. So nine people own exactly two systems. And how many people own no systems? Well, we just added up all the people inside of our diagram, that was 25. We subtracted it from 50, the number of people 
in total, so there must be 25 people outside here. So the number of people that own no system is, of course, 25. And so for problems like this, it's always a good idea, if you can, work from the closest you can from the center out. These are arranged quite nicely where it is. One's talking about first all three, and then two, and then just one. But um, in other problems, it might not be in a nice order. It'll be all mixed up. So you have to go through and you have to say, well, all right, I'm going to go and look for the ones that talk about the center. Do that. Then I'm going to look for the ones that talk about two of them. And then I'm going to look for the ones that talk about only one of them. So that's how these problems work. But a key I do want to point out, because a lot of students make this mistake, um, they forget that there's a difference between kind of the idea of saying you own a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One, how that differs from saying an Xbox One and a Switch, but not a PlayStation 4. So this isn't talking about the third system at all. So remember that... That's this area, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. There are nine people in here. Four are accounted for. Five we had to put in. So this whole area has nine people in it. Four that own all three. Five that own just the two of them. This doesn't say exactly PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. It doesn't say anything about the Switch. So you have to take that into account. This here says exactly the two systems, Xbox One and Switch, because it's saying not the PlayStation 4. So that is this area here, Xbox One and Switch, but not the PlayStation 4.